the, we found that the, uh, the, the multiple uh, phosphorylation sites, they cooperate and uh, resulting in a threshold for the fat activation. And the, 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 the stiffness of the threshold increases when the uh, more phosphorylation sites are involved. And this is important because this threshold uh, can uh, imply the filtering out of uh, weak signals <coughs> and also, for example, uh, uh, NFAT can, uh, is a target of in, immunosuppressive uh, uh, therapies and NFAT can be completely NFAT, uh, inhibited, the NFAT activation, when uh, the calcium activity is only partially uh, uh, inhibited uh, by uh, inhibitors like cyclosporine. And this is important because some of these inhibitors, uh, they have uh, secondary effects and when the dose are too high, uh, 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 sec second, secondary, secondary effects. And this uh, prediction from the more well validated experiments in collaboration with Okamura and Rao from Harvard Medical School, they, they uh, measured the uh, NFAT uh, phosphorylation state for different concentrations of cyclosporin, this uh, calcinogen inhibitor, and found that there is a, they found an activation threshold with a high, a high, a high health coefficient. NFAT uh, as is uh, Calcineering the NFAT phosphatase is a calcium dependent enzyme. And one question <coughs> is uh, how, if the NFAT activa activation can, uh, depends on the duration and amplitude of calcium, of the calcium signal. And uh, NFAT is, uh, is very, uh, uh, the, the import into a nucleus of, of NFAT is fast and also the, the export. And that's, that's why when the, the calcium stimulus is very, uh, is very, uh, is short, is a uh, spike, and for this, uh, transiently imported into a nucleus. And uh, to, uh, to obtain a sustained activation of NFAT, the calcium, uh, uh, calcium stimulus will be uh, sustained. Uh, per, uh, and uh, these uh, predictions are, are, uh, are consistent with experimental data uh, from the measure, measure uh, for uh, the activation of NFAT uh, for different uh, calcium signals. Not only NFAT is activated by, uh, by calcium, depend uh, calcium dependent enzymes, other proteins in the cells, and we uh, try to uh, generalize these, uh, these, uh, these ideas and, uh, and to understand which molecular uh, properties uh, are important for the, uh, the decoding of calcium signals. And we develop a very simple model. This is a, the calcium oscillation and uh, calcium bind to a, a calcium dependent kinase. And the calcium dependent kinase uh, phosphorylates uh, target proteins. And, uh, and here, this is the activation of the target uh, protein. This, uh, <coughs> and one of the, uh, in the Important results from this uh, uh, analysis is that there is a, a, an optimal frequency, optimal uh, calcium signal to, uh, to uh, activate, to phosphorylate uh, a protein. This is a, there, is, uh, there are experiments uh, uh, of the NFAT, uh, of the translocation of NFAT into a nucleus for uh, the, uh, where the uh, translocation of NFAT uh, into a nucleus for merging for different calcium signals, and uh, also, uh, uh, optimal frequency was also found. Wow. Second example I want to show is the, uh, this, uh, uh, is the, uh, the role of multi site phosphorylation in the cell cycle. Uh, several proteins uh, uh, are uh, subject to multi site phosphorylation, and we focus on the, uh, the initiation of DNA replication. DNA replication is a critical step in the, in the cell division because uh, uh, it's subject to several constraints. They, these are the DNA must be replicated uh, exactly one during each uh, replication uh, count and during a, a short time. In the case of uh, uh, GIS, during the tens of minutes. Uh, the, the genome in, in the, uh, in, in to, to do this, the uh, DNA uh, replication starts at the same time from, uh, in, in the case of eukaryotic uh, 
since uh, DNA regulation starts simultaneously from several uh, places, uh, several or, uh, origins. And when uh, many of these uh, origins are not activated, it can induce to uh, genome instability and, and cancer. The molecular network that is involved in the initiation of uh, DNA replication in Badungis, the network can be uh, uh, explained by the, uh, the sequential, uh, the, the binding of uh, several proteins to the, uh, to, the, to the origins, and this occurs in a sequential uh, way. And uh, one of the last, of the last steps is, uh, uh, is triggered by the multi phosphorylation of SLD2. Some of these proteins uh, bind only transiently to uh, the origins, and then they cooperate. Uh, they uh, possibilitate the, the binding of other proteins. And we uh, investigated which is the role of this multi phosphorylation of SLD2 to, uh, in, uh, to, to get that the, or, uh, the origins uh, are sign, uh, sign, uh, at, at, uh, activated at the same at the same time in the coherent. This network can be simplified in the following. For example, if we have here a sequential, uh, the sequential binding of, uh, of proteins here to the origins, we see that the, uh, that the activation of the origins is uh, incoherent because the, there is a mo uh, the molecular noise the, uh, that is uh, present in each binding event will be additive. And, uh, but if, uh, if there is a, a triggering step, a sharp triggering step, for example, uh, due to the multi phosphorylation of the protein, then the, the, the noise of the first step will be quenched by the, the last step, and, uh, and the, the origins will be uh, uh, act, uh, activated in a short time window. And, uh, but it's important to uh, the timing a, a proper timing of this uh, of this uh, uh, tree instead when the when the tree is uh, before activated then the uh, or origins are in, incoherently activated and it's also important that uh, when uh, some origins are not uh, for example when uh, uh, aberrations or, or de 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 deregulations in this network can uh, uh, Cause that some uh, that many origins are don't, uh, don't contribute to the uh, replication of DNA. All origins contribute to the replication of DNA. Then uh, the the DNA fragments that are obtained uh, uh, have a, a similar size. But when uh, many origins don't uh, don't contribute, for example, in the case that uh, the Sig1 mutant. Uh, that uh, when the SIG1 uh, protein uh, that is also uh, uh, regulated by multi phosphorylation, when this is uh, mutated, then some origins will not contribute, and, uh, and uh, 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 some DNA fragments uh, will be very large. And this has the, uh, the uh, it can co contribute uh, uh, to a genomic stability when the DNA fragments are very. This is a, a summary of the. Uh, to, to summarize, summarize, I want to show how uh, different factors can affect the phosphorylation of a protein. And one, one of these is the order in which the phosphorylation, the order in which the phosphorylations are, 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 are modified. Uh, the enzyme processivity, if the, uh, the enzymes are on the substrate, if the enzyme uh, binds to the sub substrate and phosphorylates several residues uh, without dissociating from the substrate or after each, phosphoryl each phosphorylation, the, the enzyme dissociates and uh, binds again. And uh, another important factor is the uh, competition effects that uh, the different phosphorylation forms of the substrate can compete for the enzyme when the enzyme concentration is, uh, is low or the kinase and phosphorase can compete for the substrate when the substrate concentration is low. And another factor is that uh, uh, the phosphorylation of uh, the first uh, site can enhance, enhance the phosphorylation of the later.